Okay, it's recording. Welcome out, everybody, um, to our essential oil class. Uh, tonight's topic is lime essential oil. Uh, Jade's going to be presenting to us. Um, look, sometimes we do an introduction to essential oils. Um, everybody here on, that has um, joined us tonight um, is a familiar with the essential oils, but if you are not familiar with the essential oils and you'd like an introduction, you can go to jadebalden.com slash intro. And there's a wonderful video there and some information to um, teach you about essential oils. Um, lime is the essential oil tonight. Um, it's a citrus. Um, you know, when it comes to understanding about essential oils, um, it's just concentrated plant immunity, Jade would say, um, volatile aromatic substance is just extracted. In the case of lime and other citrus oils, it's extracted by cold press. And so I just want to introduce the um, Jade here. Um, it's going to tell us about lime. She's been uh, sharing doTERRA for many years now. And um, so she's been teaching lots of people in lots of different countries about essential oils and how they can be used to improve your health and your family's health. And so um, without further ado, I'll turn the time over to Jade. Thank you. Um, so let me ask everybody here, uh, have you experienced lime oil before? Yeah. Now, um, what have, what's your experience and what, do um, you have any stories to share about lime? Anybody? Everyone's tried lime before, right? Here? Oh, wait, we have to unmute some people. I just got lime oil in the BOGO they had. Um, I kind of just felt like, oh, like I need to try it because uh, I like the citrus oils. And I was amazed. I had no idea that it helped with like suicidal thoughts and depression, which a lot of my friends are like, have had family members that are kind of like going through that or different stages of life. So I was like, oh my goodness, like I've been like, I know about juniper berry and everything, but lime is such a good like oil to have in your toolkit. So um, mm -hmm. I'm excited to learn more about it. Awesome. Anyone else? Ethan loves it. And Jaden too. Um, but Ethan, we got him his own um, pedal diffuser and he was like, oh good. And he just went and got the lime and was like, I just love this right now. And <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I was like, did you read the directions? He's like, yeah, you I know how to do this. But, um, he uses it frequently. He likes it. It's soothing to him. And Jaden has started using it, I guess, last week or so too. So they both like it. And before he used it with um, cilantro on his feet. So. Good. Yay. That's good. Yeah. I'm in cilantro, good well, go well together. Very good. Anyone else? No? Oh, I haven't tried it yet, <laughs> but I've smelt it. it. Smells very good, but I, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't experienced it. So it'll be good to learn about that tonight. <laughs> yes. Um, so I want you to think about lime as um, the wise lemon brother or cousin <laughs> okay so lemon it does a lot of things that lemon does but lime it does a little bit extra okay it sort of um, goes a little bit deeper so that's what i feel um lime does Alrighty. so the the doTERRA lime is cold pressed from the rind from the peel um because they want to preserve uh the the chemical called um, I'm, I'm going to butcher it. For furo, uh, cure, cure, I'll say it again. Furocumarins. And um, okay, that's a, a chemical on the outside to, that protects the plant from predators. So it could be insects or it could be mammals. But that also makes the lime oil lime color. Okay, so you know when you pour it out, it's it's got that. Um, greenish yellowish color that's what it does um, because of that chemical uh, we have all of these wonderful chem chemical balance but also it makes the lime um, photosensitive so you don't want to be putting it on your skin and then having it directly in UV light sunlight for a good 24 hours otherwise you'll find that you have these um, tanned marks on your skin um, 
with the same shape <laughs> as how you um, rubbed it on. So sometimes people see finger um, prints, you know, the next day and they're like, what, what's happened? That's kind of scary. But Lime is great besides that. It does a lot of other things. So yeah, anyways, um, anyone with comments or questions so far? No? Okay, awesome. Alrighty, remember what I said that it's like lemon, except it's a little bit older and wiser. It, you know, lemon breaks down and helps break down mucus. So if you've got a bit of a nagging cough, which is, this is a season, I think everybody <laughs> in the US has this cough, it seems. Um, and, you know, sometimes you feel like you're better now, you've recovered, but it's kind of a nagging, there's something still there. So lime goes in and helps, you know, clear out the old, build up and it could be mucus in any place in your body it can be you know in any of your uh, organs and lungs um, it just goes in and just looks for the the old junk and that's why it's really cool if you can use lemon and lime on a regular basis um, in addition to your cleanse and say um, so number three, if you can look on the screen there, number three is for colon and gut cleansing. Um, so people that are, you know feel like they're junked up, they're gunked up, and they've got um, you know sinus concerns, and they always have this stuffy nose. Um, they've got some sort of allergies. They you know you can't quite figure it out. What I would do first off is to tell people you've got to cleanse. Just cleanse your gut because your stomach meridian starts right under the eye and goes straight down. Okay, so if your stomach is not happy, your um, sinus areas are going to be stuffed up, okay, and infected and whatever it is that it's suffering from. So the cleaner your gut is, the more you can breathe, okay? So if you want to add lime oil to your cleanse, it's going to help go in there and clean out you know, the old things. If you've gone through the cleanse once, you can go through the cleanse twice, but now do the lime, kind of up it a little bit. Let's go there and do a deeper cleanse, okay? And like most oils, you're going to perhaps one of the days have a, an emotional catharsis of some sort, you know, just full on crying or whatever some days, or sometimes it's just a little nagging kind of sadness, and you know we don't have to fully understand it all just let it out and then you know look at it in a positive way and say okay what was that doesn't matter <laughs> and you move on okay if you if you focus on too much you get stuck in figuring it out why was i upset what was all that about um you just uh you know you're going to be stuck there a while because it's it's just sometimes it's an accumulation of several things all right so that's what we want to do um, lime is fantastic. Like I said, it helps break down mucus. It's fantastic for respiratory support. So we have our um, trusted breathe blend, right? Oh, hello, Jenny. <laughs> okay. So we have the breathe blend, which is fantastic. Um, and sometimes you want to shake it up a little bit. So if you haven't done this before, if you mix lime and breathe oil together just cup it over your nose and mouth and just inhale it's so yummy okay um if you want to just make your own instead of using the breathe blend you can use lime and eucalyptus lime and melaleuca lime and peppermint is fantastic and lime and cardamom all of those oils are fantastic for just respiratory support so sometimes um we need to shake it up a little bit because there's different pathways if we're used to just doing the one way, that's great because our body knows how to take care of it that way. But sometimes it's a, it's a new, um, you know, new bug or just a new reason why we have um, that respiratory you know, concern. Okay, so it's good to try different things for it because sometimes it's a different emotion that's underneath all that too. Okay, all right. So you can rub it on your chest your back, the bottom of your feet. So especially where the ball of your feet is, that's where your lungs are, okay? And put socks on. Uh, I would, you know, I don't know why we thought that we we're towards the end of um, winter now, because it's nice and 
cool outside and all of a sudden we you know several people have caught this cough and then they're sniffling that it looks like they've got a bit of a cold so anyways when if you have such concern you know the peppermint and the lime or the cardamom and the lime all those will help you okay with that uh, clearing away you, the old stubborn mucus inside okay um, and sometimes when you get too moist inside it's a wonderful breeding ground for fungus and so we want that fungus to be you know in check okay so we're going to pause here anyone with questions or comments So far, so good. Yep, awesome. Have, has anybody done that? Has anybody added lime to say the breathe or the peppermint, just lime and peppermint? No? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Breathe and lime together really is really good in a roller. I do that in a roller bottle for yeah. congestion, respiratory. The one that intrigues me is putting it lime on the inside of your arm yes yeah did you talk about that and i totally missed it no i didn't i'm getting to get there okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. yeah okay so we are going to move to recipes i are just going to jump around a little bit so my favorite thing to do um, with the salsa is to add lime to it i don't know it just gives it life Okay. Mm. Yeah. So just one drop in it. Even if you put real a squeeze of lime in there, just lime oil just makes it come alive. Okay. So I've heard that people are doing it key lime pie. We don't make key lime pie. We don't make a lot of pies. Um, and people have told me that they make lime chicken. That sounds really good. And mm -hmm. um, but I do salsa and I do hummus. So mm. that's really good. And you only need one or two drops max and it's just awakens the senses and makes your dish just to die for. <laughs> okay. Has anybody used it in food and other recipes? I've used it in a number of recipes, Jade. I also soak my apples in it so they don't turn brown. Oh yeah. That's a great idea. And then I've used it in, in um, avocados or, or um, guacamole. Yeah, that's, that's in my In my white chili, um, as well as my salsa. And we have used it actually in um, lots of chicken dishes. So we are a lime fam lo lime loving family. <laughs> Wonderful, yay. How about you, W.S. Scott? I actually use it in a sugar scrub. So with extra virgin coconut oil, so you get a coconut lime sugar oh. scrub. It's really amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yay. That's sort of like the um, skin tone and clean thing. So it says on number seven, it says just to add. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> or a scrub. I don't do scrubs because, you know. You can I, eat it too, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about the ants and stuff. I just get a little paranoid. Yeah. Like, did that ant come because my scrub? <laughs> so I like lotion. I like making body butter because it's just nice and thick and I don't know. It's fluffy. Yeah. So, but just remember, you know, not to expose that body, body butter up <laughs> or lotioned um, skin to direct sunlight for 24 hours just in case. No, you don't want a little bit of tan halfway down your face <laughs> and then not the other side. That's going to look funny. Cool. Very good. Alrighty. So lime is great for that nighttime cough. Sometimes people tell me that they're fine all day long and when they lie down, it's just because of the angle. They have this nagging cough that stops them from uh, fully resting and sleeping well. So one drop of lime and one drop of lemon, guys, and drink it with warm water, and it should do the trick. Or um, get a glass water bottle next to your bed. You know, for some reason, if you've eaten, say, dairy or something in the evening, and it's just built up some mucus, you know, the lime and the lemon is awesome for that. Yeah, so the reason why we're doing lemon is just to help break down that mucus, and lime is the old stuff that, you know, 
kind of hangs around and lingers. So both of that in combination is awesome. Easy, isn't it? I wish I would have known this like two months ago. Oh. I had that nagging cough. Yeah. But I did use Breathe. I, I, I did use Breathe. And I believe the oils was, uh, you know, working to help me get that mucus and stuff out. But it, I did have that mm -hmm. nagging cough. So mm -hmm. it's good to know. Yeah. And I, it hasn't come back, thank God. I had to go to, it got bad. I had to go to the doctor oh. and stuff. But yeah. And, um, but uh, I got over it, thank God. <laughs> and I use my oils to make sure I stay over it. <laughs> yeah, that's right, you just keep using it, that's right. Okay, so um, I didn't mention, but taking the oils, uh, the lime oil daily in your water bottle, and make sure it's glass, it'll help with colon health too. Wow. The properties that it's really beneficial you want to do that you want to make sure that your colon is healthy um let's go on to number five this is my thing <laughs> jade's energetic happy blend um so it's when you're under pressure mm -hmm. and you don't want it to kind of take you down i like to use lime bergamot wild orange melissa and pettigrain mm -hmm. so all of them smell amazing together and just put that in your diffuser and you know put it right next to you when you're working okay so that that's really good blend for me anyone want to say anything about that mm. okay let me know if you like it too when you try it out okay all righty so we're on to number six clear junk for decision making okay so rubbing the lime on the inside of your arms inhale okay the inside of your arm is part of the pericardian um, meridian, okay? So that is important because the pericard... I can't say it. I can't speak tonight. Pericardium. Yeah. That is the, um, it's the thing that's protecting the sac, that's protecting the heart. And it's supposed to represent your deepest heartfelt beliefs okay so um it helps us align um what we say and what we do okay with our purpose and it helps connect our whole being so the physical the spiritual the mental so you you know how physically it, try, it tries to get rid of and clear all the old junk okay so that things can clear out of the way get out of the way well it does that um, on an emotional and spiritual level too. So if you've got um, stinking thinking and things that are in your way, right? So we have, that's why um, Stacy was saying her daughter likes it because her daughter is um, feeling a little bit down right now, okay? Um, and their family has been through quite a bit lately. So it's sort of like going back in time a little bit and clearing and resolving some of the things that they've um, not had time to resolve and to take care of. And sometimes when things happen too fast, right? Um, it's just bang, 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 this happened, that happened. And you just, you know, you're just surviving. You're rolling with it, rolling with it. And when you pause, you don't realize that you've had layers and layers of this old um, emotion and things that you haven't resolved in the back. And, um, so lime, you know, if you rub it on the inside of your arms, and this is why we put um, our clary sage there too, okay? Because it's the pericardium, I can't say it, um, pericardium, mm -hmm. right? Pericardium meridian. Um, and that helps you, you know, connect everything together because it's your heart that uh, we're protecting. We're trying to, to um, open up, okay? Because we don't want a lot of junk in that heart chakra either. So um, smelling it, um, so it says clear, uh, clearing junk and uh, for decision making. So just inhale it and smell. Um, inhale and, and smell is the same thing. But rub it on your arms and inhale it to help you make clear decisions. Mm. All right. Um, any questions, comments? Yes. When you say the, the inside of your arm, are you talking about like this or yeah. like here? 
but it goes up too. Okay. Uh -oh. yeah. Up to here? Yeah. Okay. Not on both sides. And how many drops should you be putting there? Um, I would do just two, one or two, just on either side. If you look up, um, say, pericardium um, meridian, so Google it and just you can see pictures of, you know, the Chinese meridian and the, the, the guy with the little dots and the lines on the body. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that will help you see. It's okay. interesting because sometimes, you know, we have a, a gut concern and then we put, you know, a drop of digest sand under it. Our, on our cheeks right here where the stomach meridian is and you know you mm. think, oh, it's weird but it helps clear up your sinuses sometimes and we do this with the oils for um the pericardium and this is cool what was what is the name of that um i actually have the post on that yeah okay so um we can switch over and show you yeah Okay, I'm going to share this one. So I have a post on Lyme. Okay, so just Google Lyme or just do a search on this in the search bar for Lyme and you can see it's just a summary of what I was talking about today. Okay, oh, okay. and then here's information about the pericardium. Mm -hmm. Oh, pericardium meridian. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The pericardium meridian. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Good question. Um, there's other things that the lime does. I just didn't have room on the hand. <laughs> um, it helps with, um, like I said, emotionally it helps us um, have clear away things, but it spiritually um, helps with the congestion too. It helps clear away stuff around our heart so we can have more courage and more determination and passion because sometimes we feel like we needed to do other so certain thing but we just um, hold ourselves back we not don't allow our hearts to fully just jump into it and to fully give our heart to whatever it is that we do because we're fearful of something um fearful of discouragement of some sort so lime says you know, arriba, <laughs> so you have to do arriba like that um, and just jump right in and have just full life and throw yourself in, you know, to whatever it is that you're passionate about and allow yourself to have that um, full joy. Um, but, you know, some, some, some of us, we hold ourselves back because what if it doesn't work, you know. So here, it's just go for it. Don't worry. Your heart can, can handle it. All right, and it's a wonderful oil for meditating. Uh, so if you have any oils that you are using to meditate, um, so say you've got sandalwood, you've got frankincense, it's a wonderful oil to add to it, just to give that little boost. Uh, so my um, two daughters had, um, so our, our two daughters had the cough this week and we gave them the frankincense and the lime. And it was awesome because it, you know, oh, Emily was just down for a day. So it really helped her. All righty. And the other thing it does is it helps with feeling overheated. So you can put a little bit of lime on the bottom of the feet. We don't usually think of citrus oils as, you know, you know like, a, like a fever reducer, but it helps with that too. Um, we usually use the lavender and the peppermint just to kind of get it to a comfortable um, level. But lime does a good job too. So sometimes you might want to shake it up a little bit and um, use lime. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the top 10. I guess I want to switch back over here so you can see it. Yeah. Alrighty. That's pretty much it for Lime. Anyone want to share or ask questions? No? It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah. So we'll put this in, um, video on our website here. 
Yep, so we can stop the recording and take questions. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is when you say that you, you, you smell the lime and you say positive heart affirmations, can you give me an example of what you mean? Like um, what would you yeah. do? So you can say, I have courage or I am going to fully, you know, enjoy this. You know, whatever it is that you want to do, you just say, I'm going to fully enjoy this. That's heartfelt okay. affirmation. You know, I, okay. I see people holding themselves back as, what if I get disappointed? You know, yeah. so yeah. it's like, come yeah. on, you're living life to the fullest. And, and we are, we, are we, we often can feel afraid of um, disappointments or people, people letting us down or what if this doesn't work? Mm -hmm. And I just says, hey, just have a go. Just throw everything you've got into it. So, yeah. So that's okay, it. great. <laughs> Sounds like something I might need to do. <laughs> yeah. and sometimes Thank we you. want to diffuse it for the family too. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so we'll end our um, recording and we can hang around and chat with you guys until the next class. Thank you everyone for coming. Okay. Thank you.